If you're like many organizations today, you are deep into the process of preparing your offices and your people to return to the workplace. That office and your employees will almost certainly look and behave very differently from the way they did it in March 2020. So what can you do to make sure that the reopening is safe and successful? Well, my name is Andy Welkley. I'm from MRI Software, and I'd like to outline a framework to help you manage not just what's going on now, but also provide a way to think about your space and how your teams might use it when you're not reopening, but when you're just open. It's a four part framework that starts with the planning phase. We've just touched on this a little bit, but likely you've been looking at new floor layouts, occupancy plans, schedules for your employees, and maybe you've done things like survey those employees or look at local regulations and procedures. I'm sure one thing that's emerged out of all that is a theme around flexibility. Your employees desire for a flexible schedule and a flexible ability to set that schedule, but also the uncertainty that comes with the environment today. In many ways, we're rea reacting or responding to things, and we need to be flexible as the people who are setting up those workplaces of the future. But we can spend a lot of time planning. It's really important to get to that execution phase and put that plan into action. This moves us to the second part of our framework, and that's the operate phase, where we're empowering our employees to work against that flexible schedule, providing them opportunities to find their space in that reconfigured workplace, maybe through hoteling or hot desking, or maybe even a permanent desk. You also may be considering putting in place ways to manage the flow of people in and out of your office, whether they're employees, visitors, vendors, or service personnel. You may want to track who's coming and going and how many people are in your space at any given time. Now, there's a lot of data that we can collect off of this. As people reserve their desks or come in and out of that space, uh, we can create reporting and information about those patterns. And we can look at those patterns over time. And this brings us to our third phase. As we know, surveys are what they are. And in many ways, the way someone feels today may be very different from the way they actually feel once they're into that new schedule. Their choices may be different. Their schedules may be different. You need to be able to adjust to that and take that plan that you did and modify it. This is that third phase, that modification stage, where we're looking at the data that's presented to us, the trends and usage patterns, and maybe reconfiguring our workplace, reallocating space, whether it's desks or conference area or common area, uh, and adjusting to the actual patterns and actual usage that we see. Now that does lead us to another uh, opportunity, and that's the fourth phase. And this is the optimized phase, where we can look at those patterns, we can look at that usage, and evaluate it against the space that we have. Maybe it's time to look for less space and identify areas in our leases where we can modify uh, the space that we have. Maybe the density requirements actually suggest that we may need more space or we've made an acquisition uh, and we do need more space to accommodate that. We can look at that data, those usage patterns, and really understand what the best use, the optimal use of that space is and optimize it against how it's being used. You've heard from your employees that they want flex flexibility. You've heard from me now that flexibility is important. And when you combine that with the uncertainty ahead, we really need to take data and make it front and center. At each stage in this four part framework, we're looking at that information and making sure that we're aligning our workplaces with the ways it's actually being used and configuring it, developing it, and sizing it appropriately so our employees can be as successful, satisfied, and productive as possible. I'm Andy Wealthy from MRI Software. I appreciate your time today and look forward to talking to you again soon.